Good evening, and this is Thai PBS World Daily. Thailand will officially move into a post-pandemic era as COVID-19 will no longer be classified as a dangerous infectious disease from October 1st, according to the Public Health Ministry. The CCSA is expected to announce a series of measures this Friday in line with the reclassification of the disease. The cabinet also decided to remove COVID-19 from the list of forbidden diseases among arriving foreign visitors. The cabinet approved an edict of the Interior Ministry yesterday, extending the period of stay from 30 to 45 days for tourists from countries and territories entitled to visa exemptions and from 15 to 30 days for those eligible for a visa on arrival. The extension is, however, only temporary from October 1st until the end of March next year to coincide with the tourism high season in Thailand when people are expected to escape the cold weather elsewhere and head to Thailand. The Election Commission has tentatively designated May 7th next year as the date for the next general election if the House of Representatives is not dissolved by the Prime Minister before the end of its four-year term on March 23rd. According to the current constitution, a general election must be held within 45 days of the end of the House's term, which would be May 7th next year, and registration for candidacy will be held from April 3rd to the 7th. A policeman was killed and four others injured when a pickup truck was struck by a roadside bomb in front of Maikan District Hospital in Thailand's southern province of Patani Tuesday night. Police said that the improvised explosive device was planted at the roadside and when the patrol vehicle passed the spot, insurgents hiding in the area detonated it remotely. And that's all the top stories for today. You can follow us on social media and our website, thaipbsworld.com, for all the latest updates about Thailand.